Hello my dear friends, welcome to Tanali Patshala. So in today's class, we are going to discuss regarding how to score 100 out of 100 in mathematics. First PUC, by studying only 7 or 8 chapters. Out of 16 chapters, you can study only 8 chapters and you can get out of out marks. And remember, this is only for this academic year, 2021 and 22. Right, so already how to study, how to get 70 out of 70 in chemistry. And what are the important questions, fixed questions in chemistry? Uh, I have made a video on that. So if you are not seen, the link is given in the description. First go through that and then come to this one, guys. Yes, guys, in mathematics, you can get 100 out of 100 for this year, uh, for first few you see, by studying only 8 chapters. Before going to that, first you see, uh, what are the question paper pattern of uh, first PU mathematics? See, guys. 2021-22 only. This is only for 2021 and 22. See guys, part A, one mark question. Out of 15, you have to answer 10 questions. Part B, 18 questions. Out of 18 questions, you can answer only for 10 questions. Part C, 3 mark question. Part D, 5 mark question. And part E, 10 mark question. See guys, in 3 mark question, out of 18 question, you can answer only 10. In part D, 5 mark question, out of 12 question you can answer only uh, out of 12 question you can answer only 10 and part e nothing but 10 mark question 10 mark question is again split into 6 mark question and 4 mark question and here three questions are given to you out of three questions you are going to answer only for one question and again question arises is there any fixed chapters are there for 10 mark question and 5 mark question yes guys see for 10 mark questions Again, the question is split into 6 and 4 mark question. Right. See guys, in 6 mark question, trigonometric functions, conic section and straight line. From these 3 chapters only, you are getting the questions. And those questions are also fixed. I will tell that. What are the fixed questions regarding 5 mark and 10 mark? In 10 mark, 6 mark, 4 mark. Fixed questions are there. We will discuss in the next video. Uh, I, will, I, will, uh, I will directly give which question is going to be asked in this year. Right. See guys. 6 mark question asked from these 3 chapters. What are those? Trigonometric functions, conic section, straight line. In trigonometric function, derive cos of x plus y. Fixed question is there. In conic section, derivation is there. Straight line also, one derivation is there. Same derivation, that is the distance between the point and the line ax plus by plus uh, C, that line is there, no? The distance between the point and the line that is going to be asked usually in straight line. Right. So next, four more questions are asked from limits and derivatives, sequence and series, and trigonometric functions again. Right. So limits and derivative, sequence and series, and trigonometric functions. In sequence and series, uh, that question is fixed. Nothing but uh, sum to n terms. You are having, no? One square plus 2 square plus 3 square so on up to plus n square find the sum to n terms of the series like that question three questions are there out of three questions you will definitely get one question we will discuss in the next video right what are the fixed questions we are going to discuss in the next video now this is a question paper pattern now how to get 100 out of 100 by studying only 8 chapters see guys first uh, these are the 8 chapters you have to study sets Relations and functions, trigonometry, sequence and series, limits and derivatives, statistics, probability, and straight line. How I choose this one only? Because, see guys, if you study sets, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 2, 3 mark 1, you are getting. If you study relations and functions, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 2, 3 mark 1, and 5 mark 1. Next one, if you study trigonometry, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 3 questions and 1 mark 1, 5 mark 1 and 6 mark 1, 4 mark 1. So in trigonometry you see in all the part you are having the one question. And some of the questions are fixed also regarding 6 mark, 4 mark, 5 mark in trigonometry. Those are fixed questions. We will discuss in the next video, right? Next you see sequence and series. Again 1 mark 1, 3 mark 2 question, 5 mark 1 question and 4 mark 1 question. Limits and derivatives, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 2, 3 mark 2, 5 mark 1, 4 mark 1. Statistics, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 1, 3 mark 1, 5 mark 1. Probability, 1 mark 1 question, 2 mark 1 question, 3 mark 2 question, 
5 marks you are not going to get in this chapter. Straight line, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 2, 5 mark 1 and 6 mark 1 question from the straight line chapter. See guys, if you study only these 8 chapters, you will get 1 mark 8 question, 2 mark 13 questions, 3 mark 11 questions, 5 mark 6 questions, 6 mark 2 questions and 4 mark 3 questions. 1 mark you have to answer only 10. Already 8 are covered. Then remaining chapter 1 simple simple 1 mark question you study. 2 mark questions you have to answer only 10. You are having 13. Again 3 choices are there. You can easily score. Then 3 mark question 11 questions are there. See 3 mark question you have to answer only 10 questions. Here 11 questions are there. You can easily get it. Then 5 mark question you have to answer 6 questions. You are getting here 6 questions. See 5 mark questions where it is sorry here. Following or not, it is not 10, so sorry guys, 6 questions you have to answer here, yes, out of 12 you have to answer 6 questions, already 6 questions are there. Then 6 mark question you have to answer only 1, you are getting 6, because 10 mark question you have to answer 1, in that 1 6 mark, 1 4 mark. See here, already 6 marks, 2 questions you are getting, you have to answer only 1. Then 4 mark question, 3 you are getting, you have to answer 1. So why you are taking this much 3? Because we don't know the... Uh, Combination of which chapter and which chapter is going to be asked in 10 mark. But usually they will ask a trigonometry and limits and derivative. That means trigonometry, if you go for 6 mark question from the trigonometry, you have to go for 4 mark question from the limits and derivative only. Like that choices are there. Following my point. So that's why I have taken all the 4 mark question. If they have changed the combination also, definitely we will get out of board. Following. Yes, these are the 8 chapter you have to study and you can get 100 out of 100 marks. If you want to take a screenshot, you can take it guys. Yes. I hope you have taken. Yes. Now, these are the important uh, question paper pattern and important chapters. Uh, you can score 100 out of 100 by studying this much. Now, in the next video, we will talk about the physics also. Uh, how to get uh, out about 70 out of 70 in physics by studying only 7 chapters. So we will study that. After that we will talk about the pixel questions of mathematics. All 5 mark questions, 6 mark question, 4 mark questions are fixed in mathematics. Alright. We will study on the next video. If you study only 10, 10 to 12 questions, you can easily answer 6 to 7 questions of 5 mark questions. Direct questions are there. Study on the next video. By tomorrow, I will send the video. And also, chemistry, important chapter wise fixed questions, important questions, and also strategy, nothing but by reading seven chapter, how to, uh, by reading only six chapter, how to get out of board much. Already told. If you have not seen that, the link is given in the description. First, go through that. And this is regarding mathematics. Next video, we are talking about the physics. After that, you are talking, we are talking about the fixed questions of mathematics. Stay stunned guys. So thanks for watching. Thank you.